03 Big Mio has been around since 2013. We're now launching Empower, which has much more power, much more versatility, and much more capacity. Under Classic, we had 10 beams off each satellite that provided 1.6 gigabits per beam across a 700 kilometer beam profile. Under Empower, there'll be up to 4,000 beams per satellite. These beams are approximately 250 kilometers wide and can provide multiple gigabits of data. Behind me is one of our Empower MP130 Italian setups for the terminals that we are delivering to customers all around the world. The MP130 is easy to install and can be installed by the customer, and in this case was installed by the customer once they went through our accreditation process. It comes essentially with a non-penetrating mount, which you can see the antennas sitting on, and then two antennas, and then either a piece of indoor or outdoor equipment, depending on the customer needs. The antennas can be run either AC or DC, the pedigree of these antennas is really important. These antennas are the pedigree back into maritime. These antennas aren't gyro-stabilised. They're essentially exactly the same antenna. So they're very, very robust, and you can see they're sitting inside radomes, so they're protected from the environment, and that means that added bonus of less maintenance. So we anticipate that these antennas will provide good, quality, robust service with very little downtime. So the MP130 is our baseline antenna for the Empower project. We have a bigger antenna system, a 2.4 meter Viasat, and that will do 1.5 gigabits. So a gigabit down and half a gigabit up. So if you do have bigger bandwidth requirements, we do have other options. But you need to talk to your sales engineer and your salesperson, and they'll define what you need for your needs. Inside the radomes you see behind me on the MP130, you'll have your parabolic dish. This uses a transceiver, so it doesn't use a buck and an LMB, it's a combined transceiver. You have the feeds, obviously, the power, data, and that's it. And this all comes already in the radome. When you get the box, it's how you see it right now. There's no assembly required. The MP130 on Empower, the cabling and the requirements to run the terminal, is it either an indoor or an outdoor modem. If it's an outdoor modem, all the cabling is direct from the modem up into the antennas, into the ACUs and into the parabolic dishes, and then the cabling goes back to your device internally. If it's an indoor modem, it's one RU, so it's very small, the power requirements are very small, and again, just two cables come out here, power and a data cable. They are incredibly easy to install and get going. We had this one done here at Archu in a day, the guys had it up and running and we had it commissioned and it was passing traffic and we performed the testing on it. So it's going to be a fantastic performer for Empower and we anticipate selling a number of these units to clients all around the world. The Vodafone project here in the Cook Islands, we accredited the Vodafone's own technicians to install the MP130s. The accreditation process is we do an install with the team, we then shadow them and then we let them do the third install by themselves. After that, they are fully accredited to do their installs with support from O3B Empower Remote Support. This significantly lowers your install costs and gives an amazing training aid for the people that are going to maintain these terminals, which nine times out of 10 is going to be your own staff. As part of the accreditation process, we put together training videos. The training videos go from showing the installation of the non penetrating mount that the antennas sit on, the physical installation of the antennas and the cabling, and then bringing the site up to tracking point where they hand over to our operations and network engineers who will complete the commissioning, do the testing, and provide the handover to the customer for use of the antenna in the system. At the start of the build process for our MP130, all you need to clearly establish is line of sight to the satellites. A clear space to put the NPM and antennas needs to be level. In this case, you can see behind me they've put in concrete footings and bolted it to the concrete footings. You can do that for certainty of placement, but you can also have a level area and then the NPMs, there's areas where you can stick concrete blocks or you can weight it down with sandbags. Once that's completed and installed and facing north-south orientation, which we will assist the remote people with, you then lift the radomes, which contain the antennas onto the brackets and onto the mask, bolt it on and then it's into the cabling process which again is relatively simple especially when we get to Empower because you have either the indoor or outdoor modem and it is simply four or five cables if it's an outdoor modem and actually when it comes to the indoor modem it's only two cables. Nice and easy.
For any existing O3B customers that have, say, a GD 2.4 meter system, this is the obvious replacement. It's the obvious replacement because of the type of customer that you'll be or the site will be in terms of bandwidth requirements, but it also gives you growth going up to that 500 by 200. The other advantage is we all know this stuff costs money to install. The way you would do this is you would replace your GD and use it, all the current uh, civil infrastructure, the pads, the conduits, etc., and just put the NPM on top of that pad. The process only takes about a day, so your downtime is limited. And even when we're doing that, we can keep you in what we call single antenna mode by using one of the existing GD 2.4s, and that will keep your customers happy while we're doing it, and then the upgrade's done.